Hey guys, you so see back with another bank video. Now this is some of a special video leading towards Skull and Violet. I know this is not a team video yet. I will do a team video eventually. But this is gonna be just my thoughts on the Generation 8. Because Generation 9 officially starts on Friday. So I'm gonna be giving like my review on the games and the anime. I know the anime is still going on, but like we're pretty much done the anime now. We only have three episodes, like, th I think three episodes left before the anime actually ends. And hopefully is there's a Generation 9 anime. But anyway, so let's get into the video. Uh, so I'll start off with the uh, video games. So, Sword Shield, Sword and Shield, be it Billion Diamond Channel Pill, and Legends Celsius. So, when I first saw Generation 8, I was like, okay, new generation. Uh, the first games were Sword and Shield. Now, I didn't, I didn't really like the Dynamaxing. I, I didn't like Zemus. I loved Mega Evolution. Like, that's one of my, maybe the new gimmick in Gen 9, the Triastal, Triastalizing, may bump that up to second, depending on how much I actually like it. But for now, Mega Evolution is probably the best gimmick out there. So... Uh, we got introduced to Dynamax in Generation 8 with Soul and Shield. Now, the Soul and Shield games, the, the Pokemon game, I'm going to play them for fun. So I don't really care how the story goes. Uh, so, Soul and Shield, they were, they were like 8 out of... Actually, they were like a bit 7 out of 10. I did like the wild area, which is open, open world, which... Spoilers, Skull and Violet is open world. Well, it's not really spoilers, but when Pokemon have said it themselves that Skull and Violet will be open world games. But, yeah, the wild area. I, I just, I didn't like how Gala was literally like a straight line. Like it was a straight line. The, the map. So now we'll go into BDSP. <laughs> Brilliant Time in China Pearl, when I first saw the announcement trailer, I literally cried pretty much. Pokemon Platinum was the first ever Pokemon game that I ever played. And when I saw Brilliant Time in China Pearl remake, like remakes, I did play Diamond and Pearl like later on. But Platinum was my first game. I did start off in the Sinnoh region. I literally, like, probably one of the best Generation 8 games. I know, like... It wasn't really like a remake, it was more like a remastered of Diamond and Pearl. But I still love those games. I'm actually playing Billion Diamond right now up to release date of Scarlet and Violet. And I will be playing Pokemon Violet first. As you can see right here, I do have them ready to go on. I do have them ready to go on my Switch for Friday. The day I'm recording this, it, there, there is three days to go till Skull and Violet. Like, my way is almost over. I cannot wait for these games to come out. I'm I'm going to be picking Spigatito for Violet and Fecoco for Scarlet. And I'm playing Violet first. But anyway, back to BDSP. Yeah, they weren't really remakes. They were more like remastered of Diamond and Pearl, which I didn't mind at all. So I'll give this like a... 8 out of 10. Now for the final game of Generation 8, Pokemon Legends Arceus. That game, like, I, did, I loved how it was like past Sinnoh. You could catch the wild starter Pokemon. My starter Pokemon was Rowlet, which did evolve into Hesurian Decidueye, which I loved the design. Uh, I did play with all three starters that like I started over and over and over again. I recently just beat it with the uh, Hesuian Typhlosion uh, up to at least a of Skull and Violet. But yeah, the games were somewhat open world. Like there was like, I think four or five areas to explore how you want. Not really how you want, but like you can go anywhere in the world, basically. Basically, like it was like they were trying to do open world, but Skull and Violet is open world. Which, oh my god, I cannot wait for those games to come out. I don't know when I'll be uploading this. I might upload this before I go to Winnipeg, which is on Thursday. So, two day, so 
I have two days to upload stuff and record stuff. Because I'm going to few record stuff for when I'm away. So all the videos we get when I'm in Winnipeg will be like past videos. So yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to rate uh, 10 out of 10. I actually loved uh, Legends of Zelda. The puzzles were a bit tedious at times. Like the Reggie puzzle. I literally had to search up a video on how to do the Reggie puzzle. And I also had to search up a video on like the three mess breaths. Because I'm like, how the fuck do you do this? I think it was Azulf, the one with the bombs. But I, 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 can't, I can't remember. I haven't played that game in a while. So now we'll move on to the Pokemon Sword and Shield anime, which is called Pokemon Journeys. Now this is a bit of a spoiler if you haven't seen the part 4 to Ash vs. Leon, which I have seen. And my god, was that one of the best battles of ever in the Pokemon anime. All Ash's old companions returned. There was a scene literally where all his old teams came back. Like, like I had no words when I saw that episode. Like, that was an amazing episode. 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah, I, I love the Generation E anime, probably. My favorite anime right now, though, is the X and Y anime. But Journeys is up there now, too. Journeys is my second favorite anime. I like the idea of going to, like, each region. Hopefully there is a Skull and Violet anime. There might not be, because... It might be the end of Ash, because, um... The final episode of Journeys, which is airing on December 2nd, I think, is called Pokemon. I'm glad I got to meet you. And it's literally the title the same way as the very first episode of the Pokemon anime, Pokemon I Choose You. But yeah, I love the Journeys anime. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's somewhat of a long one, but this is just my review of the Generation 8 for Pokemon. I will do a Gen 9, rev Gen 9 review in one Generation 9. Is about to add in when Gen 10 comes out. But hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time.